Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series where in today's episode we are finally gonna go down mining in our mine over here and we are finally gonna get those diamonds but we got a little bit of preparation to do before we can actually do that first off eat a bread and then we are going to need more food and I'm actually going to um, take a look at the farm up here to see if it's harvestable mm, not quite yet I would like to harvest everything at once do we have any well, a little lag spike yes we do have bone meal actually also I gotta clean out my, um, my inventory here so let's see bone meal we might have enough bone meal and if not might have to take a look in my other chest if I have any yeah definitely not enough but I don't think the bread will even be enough as it's a big ravine so what I'm going to do is I'll cut out and then be right back and where I'm going to go is go over and take care of some pigs I think it's in hmm, I forget what in what way in which way I know there are some over there I think there are some in this general area, so I'll go get some pigs, I'll get that cooking. We'll harvest the field, or the wheat farm, it's not really a field, um, it's too small for that. Um, and then we'll get down into the mine. I also need a couple of more torches and I also need to clean out my inventory. I also need a new sword and a new pickaxe with me. Probably two, I most likely are going to need two new pickaxes. So yeah, I have to get all that done. I will most likely not record it as I want to spend most of the time in the mine. So with that said, I'll cut out and be right back. Stay tuned. All right, I got 24 pork chop. I hope it's going to be enough. The reason why I'm starting recording again right after I got the pork chop is because now it's night time and I want to catch it if I should die. I doubt it, but... I also don't doubt that it is a possibility. <laughs> so um, yeah, I got 24 pork chop. Now I just have to get back to base, get back home, get some cooking while I make some more tools and some more weapons. And then in the morning we'll harvest the wheat farm and then we'll get going. And there's a spider right here. Oh, he got a hit in, but only one. That's good. Um, we, yes, we're back home safe and sound. Hopefully, I really, I really like the way this platform turned out, and I'm, um, I can't wait to expand it. I can't wait to expand it, right, like around the mountain and stuff like that. Oh, sorry. Okay, you know what? You can knock and stay and knock on my door. That's fine. All right. Let me just get this stuff done, clean up my inventory and stuff, and I'll be right back. Stay tuned again. <laughs> All right. I think I have everything I need. I made two more pickaxes, two extra. I made an extra iron sword, which I'm definitely going to need. Um, I made an extra shield just in case. I have 24 cooked pork chop. I have 10 extra coal. We should be able to find some more. And now all there's left to do is to harvest the wheat farm. So let's see if everything has grown. No, it hasn't, but that's fine. We're going to need the food anyway. And finally, we're gonna get those diamonds. So, let's get all this wheat and replant everything. I kind of wanted everything to be grown when I harvested it, but um, just because so I could see how much wheat we actually got out of it. But I guess this will give us a pretty good idea as well. So, we definitely have over a stack. So, a stack and three. And that would most likely be like a stack and 15 or something like that so let's replant here we go i also have my water water bucket in case we run into lava which we most likely will do i also have a stack of wood and a little I'm a little short on sticks but since i have a stack of wood i can always make more so that's fine as well have a little bit of coal not enough definitely not enough but i hope we will be finding more so yeah that's what I'm really depending on and I should be able to just make a bunch of bread right here yes good I think we're ready let's do this 
let's get those diamonds that we've been waiting for in the last four episodes or how long has it been <laughs> since we found them anyways let's head down into the mine i also want to um to fix this so it looks a little bit nicer and also over here all right so let's take it slowly ah more cool i will actually be taking this right away as i know i will be needing it and then regretting that i didn't take it because i don't find any or something like that so let's take it right away now i won't be recording or i won't show like this every ore i mine i will specifically go down the ravine explore it a little bit but i will not be taking every single ore not after i've taken the diamonds and taken um, some of the important stuff because then what i want to do is actually time lapse everything like i'll record everything but it will be in a time lapse way so now i just have to um now i just have to remember what way the ravine were <laughs> i'll not take i will not take all this stuff right now not all of it anyway again time lapse so let's take just this you never know when you're going to need a little bit of iron and i need to find out where the ravine is i actually don't remember if it was to the right or to the left I think it's yeah it's to the, it was to the left wrong way wrong way and I'll tell you, I'll mine all this stuff maybe not in this episode but I will get it done so it must be this way then right time for a little break okay so we have lava here now did we go up no it has to be down so this is unexplored territory down there. Oh, I should keep them to my right. Right. Um, this is unexplored. Where is the ravine? I can't find it now. Um, I'll have to watch back one of my or the episode where I found it. Or oh, wait, this might lead to it. Um. I think I'm close. I think I am close. Okay, I don't like that. Um, always have a... Ugh, that bat scared me. <laughs> okay, looks to be a... Dead end. I might, it might continue on the other side, but... I really just want to find the... Ravine. Where is it? Not that way. Um, great. I'm lost. <laughs> oh, I'm not lost. I just can't find it. Not there either. Hmm. Looks like I'll have to. Um. Okay, so I came from there. I think it's up here actually. Not to the right. Then it has to be to the left. Okay, I'll just pause and be right back once I've figured out where on earth I went to find the ravine. <laughs> I guess I should have mar marked it better. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. One second. Okay, so I think I know where to go. So that's um, the surface. So we go down here, turn to the left. I had to look up one of my own videos to find it. <laughs> we go down here, we reach the lava, then we head up here up here and then i think we just follow the path i think past this lava i remember this and then i think it's forward and then yes because i remember that too up here down here and at the end of this, I think the ravine... Okay, so it's the other way. <laughs> Sorry about this, but I'm completely lost. 
I am. Um, yeah, I should have noted it better. So it's the other way then. Yes, it's up. Then it has to be up. Yes, here it is. Finally. Ah, we made it. And I see redstone. Perfect. More redstone. Yep, and a zombie. Um, and there they are. The precious diamonds. So, how are we gonna do this? Um, yeah, how are we gonna do this? Hmm. I have to get better down there somehow. I can always just jump in the water, but I do like to have a way up. Also, in the ravine, there are all these like passageways, or I don't know what you call them, but there's all these oars to the sides, and it's really hard to get them sometimes, actually. And is it safe? It's semi-safe. I think I should just drop down and then see what I can see from the bottom. Then I can use the water to get back up. I think I should do that. Just see... Just trying to see if I can find anything else. Two zombies and a creeper. Let's do it. Equip shield. Equip new sword. And let's do this. I can actually shoot them first. The water is actually keeping them over there. I just have to be careful not to fall in the lava myself. Or get blown into it. Get back. Okay, got him. Got him too. Okay, let's just indicate up. That the water is our way back. So... Here we are, finally. That took a while. Let's get all this ore, actually. Yes, redstone. Finally, I can make a compass and hopefully never get lost again. It extends that way and that way. Um, I really want to get the diamonds, but I'm really curious to see what... Oops, that, that's my bread. What leads in this, um, in this direction. So... Let's see what's over here. If I can get out of this water. There we go. I think it's just a dead end over here. Yes, okay. But there are some iron and some coal and some coal as well. What's our Y level actually? 17. And then down there, or down here, it's 11. Yeah, I think diamonds spawn at Y level 15. I think. But I'm not 100% sure. But we also know now how to, um, where to go to get obsidian, once we want to do that. So let's block this water up, actually, so we can't have any accidents. And I'll block this as well, like so. Okay. Just an advice, have a water bucket in your inventory when you're exploring ravines like this. You might get in a nasty situation where you will need it. Again, I will not take every ore while I'm recording like this. I will do it in a time lapse, but I'll take some of it. So, um, just trying to spot if there should be anything else. The worst scenario is if there's a skeleton like up there and shoots you in the in the lava and you can't do anything. <laughs> that's um, yeah, that's bad news. I've died in lava before and it's very um a very sad moment. <laughs> Let's put it like that. Especially when you try your hardest to get out of it and survive and then all your items just um, just get burned, basically. So, more iron here. And let's grab the diamonds. Let's take that. There we go. 
don't know why I covered that up, but that's okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's cover this up as well. There we go. I like to be able to get back and forth easily without no without any obstacles. <laughs> Just in case you need to run or something like that, then it should be easy for you to get out of a nasty situation. There we go. Oh, right stone. And I will actually also be doing redstone contraptions once I get to that kind of stuff. Right, that's almost a stack of redstone. Alright, let's see... Yeah, a stack of redstone. Let's get... I'll grab the mushrooms, actually. Let's get the diamonds now. Let's first excavate them to see how many there actually are in one vein. Oh, I think it's going to be a... Whoop! Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> this is what I don't like in these ravines. They can fall from above. Okay, my bag is safe. Good. He had taken fall damage, so. Yeah, I need to light up all that above me as well. Now, what I want to. I think there are six. Yes, six diamonds in this vein. Not bad. Exactly, I don't have fortune pickaxe, but. You know what? I think this is. A fine haul, no matter what. Our first diamonds, advanced made, advancement made diamonds. And it says acquire diamonds. So three, four, five, six diamonds. That is not too bad. Though sadly I think they're the only ones in this ravine. But from here, we can then mine down to bedrock and then do some branch mining at some point. Um, that is an effective way of mining as well. So I might do that too. Alright, let me just get this coal here. Um, what else can I do here other than walk around this area? So I can actually both make an enchanting table. I can also make a diamond pickaxe. Because I have six diamonds, right? So that should be doable. And I have even one to spare. Not too bad. So we can actually get to the nether pretty fast now. Okay, I think what I'm going to do um, is actually to get up there first. Or actually, maybe here. Let's just be careful not to walk in the lava and lose our six diamonds. That would be um that would be sad times. Okay, I think I'm going to start the time lapse and then I'm going to mine what I can. I might not be um be taking everything up here because it's just difficult to get, but I might take it um eventually at some point if I need it. So I will stand over here and start the time lapse. So, let's get to it. Starting time lapse in 3, 2, 1.
All right. Phew. That was about 10 minutes of mining and I think I got almost anyway every ore in this ravine. So let's just drop down here and um, get this stuff here. And I just have to remember the iron that was over here that I left in the water. And then after that I only... I'm only missing that and apparently some coal up there that I didn't see. Um, ah, that is the iron. There we go. I guess I can take that single piece. There we go. I think that was actually every ore in the ravine. Um, except for that. <laughs> um, I should get that, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should. Most likely. Let's just go get it. Oh, more here then. Okay, so we got six diamonds out of that. Um, a stack and 13 redstone. I didn't find any more redstone as you saw. And um, yeah, we didn't find any lapis lazuli, so we can't actually do any enchanting at all because we need lapis lazuli in order to enchant stuff. So I didn't find any of that, sadly. Um, so for that we will have to make some branch mining, I guess, in order to find some. Oh, man, more gold and iron down there. Um, and iron here too. But other than that, I think this actually went pretty well. We got a lot of iron, we got a lot of gold, a lot of coal as, as well. And um, yeah, I think I think we did alright down here. I will get that time, not diamond gold and iron right now before I leave. Um, I will not take the rest of the ore from the cave right now. I'll do that another time. Um, as I do think that the video is about 20 minutes long. Oh, I thought that might have been a diamond, but no, it wasn't. Let's get this iron right here. And the neighboring gold. Neighboring gold. Okay. Well, that's fine. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't know where he came from, but I guess up there or something. So yeah, other than that, I think everything went very nice. We got a lot of resources. So now I just have to get home safe and sound and get everything cooking and smelting. And that is going to take a lot of coal and also a lot of time to do. So I'll do that off camera, of course. Let's get down here. Let's get that gold right there. Bridge up before something blows me into the lava or something. Yeah, that would be not fun. As I would then lose all of this stuff. Let's get this. My pickaxe is almost broken as well, so it's a perfect time to head back. There's some coal there, but uh, I like when the ravine is completely clean. So, let's just get this very quickly. Okay, yes, I cut that part out because there was a lot of coal. And my pickaxe just broke when I mined the last ore. So, that's a perfect indication for me to head back home. So, let's, um, yeah, let's swim up this water source here. And let's get home and see how much we actually got. Um, I think this was the water source, right? Okay, that was a scary sound. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Not the right time to jump out, apparently. Um, I have to do that. There we go. I don't actually know if that's the sound of a mine shaft. I actually have to look that up on the Minecraft wiki. Um, but yeah, I'll take it. I'll take a look at that because if it is, then that's the indication of a, a mine shaft. I'll just have to remember what way. And I think it's this way. Yes, I know it's this way. Again, I'll take all these holes another time. As you can see, I don't have a pickaxe anymore, so <laughs> it would be it would take a long time to break all these holes. Let me tell you. Um, yes, this way. I don't think I'm lost again. Hopefully not. So it's this way, and hopefully it's daytime. Hopefully. We actually didn't even get to eat any of our pork chop. No, it's nighttime. 
but because we have this handy stair here, no problem at all. So let's just get home and let's take a breather. Ah, we got the diamonds home. And I think what I will do, I will make a separate chest for my stuff like my material, my minerals, gold, iron, diamonds, etc. And I'll place that mm, next to my bed for safekeeping. So that's six diamonds. And this is the old stuff. Um, I actually think I will do this. Yes. So we got a stack and 13 redstone. We got a stack and five gold ore. So that's 969. We got a stack and 46 iron ore. Two run flesh, four mushrooms, two gunpowder, and then we got two stacks and 30 coal. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think some of it I had with me, but that's okay. I think this is a pretty good haul, and I think it's a pretty good time to end the episode with. Actually, what I should do. Yes. I should end the episode with my diamonds in my hands. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed. We finally got the diamonds and now we just have to think of what we want to spend them on. And I will make a crafting table eventually, but as I said, we need lapis lazuli. So we might need to go on a, um, a branch mining adventure at some point. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and share it with your friends, and if you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.